What's up guys? So in this video I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your new second generation Apple TV. Now first off let me just say that this jailbreak is still very very new. There is no Cydia or installer or anything like that. In order to install tweaks and applications uh, you basically have to do it all from your computer via SSH and the terminal application found on your Mac. Um, it's kind of a difficult process, but I'm sure Cydia will be coming to the Apple TV very soon. Now for those of you who are still interested in jailbreaking, the first thing you're going to need is a micro USB cord. Now unfortunately Apple does not supply micro USB cords, so you're going to have to find one around your house or go out and buy one. But uh, once you've found that, just go ahead and connect up your Apple TV to the micro USB and then the other end to your computer and once you are all connected you're gonna need to download two things the first thing is you're going to need the original Apple TV firmware I'll have a link down in the underbar to where you can get that and the second thing you'll need is the new Pwnage tool I'll have a link down in the underbar for that as well once you're all connected and once you have everything downloaded, go ahead and open up Ponish Tool. If iTunes pops up, just go ahead and uh, leave it alone for right now. You can set it off to the side. Keep Ponish Tool open here and uh, go ahead and choose the Apple TV 2G option. Select Next. And now it's going to search for the firmware that you just downloaded. If it finds the iPad firmware or anything, just uh, leave it alone and uh, should find the Apple TV firmware you have. If you didn't find it, make sure it's in a place where it's easy to be found, like your desktop or your documents, and make sure that it is in .ipsw form and not a zip or, or a folder or anything like that. Once you found the firmware, go ahead and select it, click Next, and uh, basically what this says is it's going to create a custom IPSW file which you will restore in iTunes did you want it to be placed on your desktop? Just click yes, put it on your desktop so you know where it's at. And it will begin building the IPSW. And all it's doing here is it's building a custom firmware that will be jailbroken and have SSH on it so you can install applications. And uh, it's just basically a custom firmware that we will, that we will be able to use um, and restore within iTunes in just a minute. All right, and once your custom IPSW has been created, you should have a new firmware file on your desktop. Apple TV 2 custom restore.ipsw should look exactly the same as the original. Just go ahead and hang on to it for right now. Leave it on your desktop or wherever you put it. Make sure you know where it is. Next thing we're going to need to do is grab our Apple TV remote, and we're going to need to put our Apple TV into DFU mode. And basically all DFU mode is, is it allows us to install custom jailbroken firmwares onto our Apple TV via iTunes. So if you failed the first time, just go ahead and try it again. Click yes and just follow the on-screen instructions here. So we're going to press menu and play for about seven seconds. If iTunes pops up, just go ahead and get rid of it, or not. There we go. And uh, should say successfully entered DFU mode. And uh, we're all done with Ponage Tool for right now. So go ahead and quit Ponage Tool and get rid of that. Now what we need is we're going to need to go into iTunes. And basically what we need to do in iTunes is we're going to need to, if you're on a Windows, you're going to hold down Shift. And if you're on a Mac, you're going to hold down Options and click Restore. And this should bring up a little pop-up window that says Choose a File. And we're going to need to look for our custom restore.ipsw Apple TV firmware that should be on our desktop. And once we have found it, go ahead and choose it. And it will restore. Just click Yes and it will begin restoring to a custom jailbroken firmware. And that is basically it. Your Apple TV, once it is all done here in iTunes, will be jailbroken. Now again, 
once you plug it back in, you're not going to notice any Cydia or installer. Um, at the end of this video, I'll have a big annotation on how to install applications. But uh, once you connect it back up to your TV, you're going to have to enter in all your information again. And uh, it should be all working. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment below or send me a message. I'll do my best to help you out. Again, the installing of applications and whatnot video should be somewhere on the screen. Click it and uh, I'll teach you how to install things onto your Apple TV. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll see you guys in the next video.